All right, ladies, it's time to discuss the skill zone. Every piss baby's favorite thing to bitch about, and every overachiever who thinks he's king shit's best crutch. So today we're going to discuss how to beat it, how to use it, why is it the most frustrating thing on the fucking planet, and maybe I'll do a giveaway. Well, not maybe, I actually will. I'm No Sleeves 12. I just need to preface this whole video. These clips that you're about to watch are me doing the skill zone on purpose for three games. If you play me, I don't actually play like this. It's just for the videos, um, the sake of the video. Um, again, I don't actually play like this, so all you fucking morons that are going to lose their shit the second you see the title of this game, I don't care. Your comments will not affect me, and it's just for the sake of this video to show you guys what the skill zone is, how to beat it, what to do, uh, what to do to uh, use it, and uh, all that. So let's get started. All right, you animals. It's time to talk about the skill zone today. My other how to play defense video in the comments. If you scroll down, you'll see about fucking 400 keyboard warriors that are complaining about me playing the skill zone in it. And I gotta disagree, because A, I play staggered, and if I don't control my defenseman, I use my forward up top. So, let's discuss what the skill zone is to people that don't know the NHL terms, or, you know, they're not that into the game, and maybe they don't even know they're doing it already. So essentially, what the skill zone is, is in the defensive zone, what you're going to do is you take your forward most of the time, your centerman, and you don't switch off at all, almost like you're playing EA Sports Hockey League. You drag that fucker right into the middle of the slot, right above your goalie, where all the, you know, all the action happens. Now, that might seem uh, a little, a little uh, passive, which it is, um, and kind of counterproductive to how to play defense because uh, you have essentially one guy who's not covering someone. So what happens is, if you set your defensive strategy to high pressure and you don't touch your defenseman or your other forwards and you leave your guy dead in the slot, you effectively take away the cross-ice uh, one-timer, which is almost everyone's go-to goal. Um, this year or any other year because it's super effective and it takes the most skill to set up, to be honest with you. Um, so, yeah, so that is how to do it. So, again, what you would want to do, what you do to actually do the skill zone to set it up, first of all, in the, before the game even starts, is you need to put your defensive pressure to high attack, like high pressure, and then your defensive strategy to collapsing. Um, that way, all of your guys come, your defensemen come down to the slot and they cover up that bitch so that there's nothing that can really get through in the middle. And uh, I'm going to explain why that is so effective and insanely frustrating in just a minute. But Sleeves, the skill zone is such a bitch way to play. It's so fucking annoying. See, anyone that acts like this um, is just... The reason why you're so upset is because you can't beat it consistently. And the reason you can't beat it consistently is because they're taking away what you're good at. And what you're good at is probably setting up one-timers. If you use the overload like myself and someone's using the skill zone, um, I pretty much can't do anything in the game. So I played my buddy Shook, who is amazing at the game. He's one of, uh, I don't know if he still is, uh, you'd have to check on PS4, but he hasn't played EA Sports Hockey League in a hot minute, but he was in the top 10 on PS4 for EA Sports Hockey League, and he plays very much like it. He doesn't really switch players, and he holds onto the puck in the offensive zone. It's very frustrating to play because he's very good, and when he's in the defensive zone, he doesn't really need to do anything in the defensive zone. He just sits in the middle. And this goes for anyone. And again, it's not a bitch way to play. It's a smart way to play because you're hiding things that maybe you're not as good at when you control your defenders because a lot of people don't know how to play defense in this game um, because hockey is insanely difficult to learn and a lot of people don't play hockey in real life. So um, people that complain about it, again, you're just bitching because you don't know how to beat it. And I played my buddy Shook, who does it consistently, and the first game we played, I lost, I think, 5-2, and it was 2-2 going into the third, really low scoring. I couldn't do anything, and then it all fell apart for me again because he's very good. Uh, it rocked me in the third period, and... I fucking started complaining and bitching like a whiner, and I'm Canadian. I don't whine. I just, I'm passive. I'm patient. You know, I need to use logical thinking. 
Okay, I don't need to get heated and fucking whine about everything. I'm also an adult. So, I asked to play him again. We played again. And this time, I didn't do the exact same thing of how I normally play every single other game of NHL. I completely changed it up. And what ended up happening was I won in a shootout. But again, he couldn't really... Uh, it, was, it was much different than the last game because I knew what was coming. Um, so, again, so let's discuss how to beat the skill zone. So, guys, you're going to know ASAP if you're going up against someone who uses the skill zone because they really don't do anything else. They'll take their centerman or their left wing or right wing, one of their forwards, and sit dead in the middle and not even fucking move. Like, you legit don't even really have to move. You want to move left and right maybe to block a shot, but you really don't have to do anything. Now, how do you beat it? So, all the games against skill zoners are going to be very low scoring. And there's a reason for that. You can't do one-timers. You cannot do cross-ice one-timers uh, against someone who's using the skill zone because literally nine times out of ten, that isn't getting through. The puck's not getting through. And if you want to try it and continually fucking run into someone hoping that that one time it's going to go through, go ahead. But the reason why it's low scoring is because of that. So what I found to be successful and a much more, you know, um, better odds, I guess you would say, to to score when facing someone at the skill zone is there's two ways. So, one, if someone is using the skill zone and they have their defensive strat set to tight points, um, you're going to have a little bit more wiggle room because the person who's using that forward down low, they're literally going to have to cover someone because every all the defenders are hard on your guys, which means that the cross ice is still available to you. Now, the way to tell if you're facing someone that's using tight point is you know, dick around with the puck at the point. And if you're getting pushed hard, that means you're facing someone with tight points. So again, if you use the overload or, you know, a lot of quick passes in the offensive zone, you still have the option to uh, to potentially get a cross-ice pass through. Now, if they're using collapsing, which is, you know, a much more common thing for people that use skill zone because, again, it makes it even easier to block cross-ice passes, is point shots. Now, the problem with point shots is... Um, you know, a lot of the time they're going to get blocked because it is so congested. But uh, it's also a fucking crapshoot in this game because um, point shots get tipped in so frustratingly. Like, the the amount of times that they actually get tipped in is, is super frustrating. So, what I found to be successful against skill zoners is... Um, it, off the rush, oh, I'll need to mention that. Off the rush, if you can get a few odd man rushes, that's where you're going to make your hate. Don't do the um, normal thing that you normally do where you get into the zone, stop up, or maybe drag them over and do the backhand pass to get open um, and kind of set up your passing plays in the offensive zone. If you're facing a skill zoner and you get a rush, better odds to try and get into the middle to do the uh, against the green wrister or maybe um you know a nice short side wrister uh, those kinds of things because again once you know that they get set up in the defensive zone you're pretty fucking screwed so um that is an option off the rush secondly would be again point shot so well, I want to go over something about point shots, what I mentioned in my how to score video way back in the day uh well way back in the day four months ago when you're doing point shots the main goal is to not get blocked five feet in front of you obviously because that's a goal against but even more importantly is you need to first look for the lane don't even look at the goalie all you need to do is make sure that you have a clear path to the net with your shot so if you don't hold on to it move around a little bit until you do you can't just at the point start ripping point shots because again you're doing the exact same thing as you would be if you're doing the cross ice pass against the skill zone. You're just hoping that it's going to go through, and that's a good way to find yourself getting some L's because it's not really skill. You're just hoping and praying that shit's going to go in. So again, with point shots, you need to make sure that that shit is you have a lane. Don't even look at the goalie. Fire it up high um, or even down low. I mean, if you have a lot of guys crashing the net, but up high and don't look at the goalie. Just look at the guys in front of you in the lane. And that's what I found to be the most successful against skill zones. Here's where I'm going to get a little bit more controversial, okay? If you can't play defense and you're getting your shit kicked in consistently, um, maybe you can score goals, but your games are like 6-5 or 5-4, those kinds of things, try the skill zone. Again, you're going to get messages and some hate mail, but they're fucking just probably mad because they're bad. Um, but the skill zone is annoying to play. It, it, I'll say that, okay? All you keyboard warriors out there that are going to lose it on me, I don't care. Again, I'm an adult. 
I make YouTube content, and I want to help people that are below average. And I think that the skill zone is a way to help people. Um, because, if again, if you can't play defense, it is a... I don't want to say a lazy way. I mean, well, I guess it is. It'd be a lazy way to play defense, but it is effective. And when you get into Div 1 um, or higher, the upper echelon guys, you're going to find that a lot of guys do it. And the reason is because it's very, it's very successful because in this game, guys will go for the for sure goal, the one-timers, the high chances. What you should, what you should do um, is the one-timers because those are the ones that are most consistently going to go in. And the skill zone really eliminates that. So for anyone that wants to play it, don't feel fucking like you're like all these kids out there that complain and bitch about it so you shouldn't do it because it's a bitch way to play. It's not a bitch way to play. A w either no matter what as long as you're not desyncing or glitching or something like that. A W is a W and you kids are going to learn that one day. <laughs> like any any win is a win um regardless of how you do it as long as you're not puck ragging, as long as you're not desyncing, as long as you're not cheating in some sort of way. The skill zone is is a legitimate way to play. So again, the way to do it is not control your D-man at all, much like I recommended in my earlier video, but instead of actually playing defense with your forward, you bring that forward right in front of your net, and you just clog that zone. That's it. You just clog the shit out of it so that they can't get any passes through, and you're going to find it to be super effective. You don't even need to watch what else is going around outside? You just need to watch right directly in the slot, make sure that everyone's covered because your high-pressure defense is going to attack and eventually you're going to get the puck back. So again, guys, if you want to do it and you're struggling, maybe you're in a lower division, maybe you're getting rocked in competitive series seasons, maybe you just are a versus player and you've taken a ton of L's and you just want to try and win some, it's an effective way to play. Um, and anyone wants to complain about it, I don't care. If, the reason why you complain is because you can't win how you normally win, and that is the brutal, honest truth. So, again, so again, guys, if you want to go and give it a shot, give it a shot, man. Like it, you might find it very effective. Again, it's high pressure to defensive strategy and collapsing defense. Um, to make it at its highest potency, and then you take your centerman and just drag him right into the middle, and you don't move off. Okay. So guys, that is my thoughts and theories of how to counter or use the skill zone. Um, let me know what you thought down below and whatnot and all that nonsense. Um, I want to say thank you for 500 Twitter followers. I'm just about to pull the draw for 70,000 uh, for retweeting my pin tweet on my Twitter uh, on PS4 for uh, 70,000 hot coins, as well as 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. You guys are fucking ridiculous. Um... I know I say in every video, thank you and all that nonsense, and it's cheesy and whatnot, but again, I didn't think that 2,000 of you would have thought that my shit was good enough to subscribe to, um, so again, I do uh, I do appreciate that, and um, I'm going to keep making videos, so um, let me know if, uh, again, what you think about uh, about this video in the comment section down below, guys. Also, guys, I said I would do 25k giveaway again on my last video for writing sleeveless in the comment section. So, uh, one of these three, whoever claims it the first, um, will get the 25,000. So it's Wolfie, Patrick Lindstrom, and Insane Panda 99. Whatever one of you three comments uh, claim in the comment section first, you're gonna get the 25k this week, guys. Again, I'll do it again for my next video. So. In the comment section, comment sleeveless down below. And make sure you subscribe as long as you subscribe. And uh, comment, I will uh, I will give away another 25 next week. Uh, when I think I'm going to start my EA Sports Hockey League series, I'm probably going to start it with uh, how to play goalie because that's what I do. Um, and then we'll go from there, guys. So, again, check out me out on Twitter, at No Sleeves Gaming. I do a giveaway all the time on Twitch, uh, www. Uh, twitch.tv slash no sleeves 12 uh, i just crossed 850 followers so i'm close to that thousand uh, check me out there i do stream um every weekend and throughout the week every time i stream is a giveaway though so bang that uh, follow button and make sure you have notifications turned on so you know when i'm on and uh yeah guys so enjoy i hope you let me know if you start if you don't know the skill zone and you just started using it because of this video tell me your thoughts on it all you fucking complainers again i'm sorry uh learn how to beat it point shots guys very simple and uh yeah uh, i'll see you guys next week you guys stay average